hello friends uh, welcome again and this is my new project library management system and i have developed this project in python django and mysql the version for the python i am using python version 3.7 django version is 2 and mysql version is 5.6 so for connecting mysql with python and django i am using the mysql connector which you will get easily from the mysql.org website even you can download the py mysql through pip and you can connect your django and python with mysql right so this is a web-based application so for front end i have used html css and javascript some of the jquery library also i have used like for formal additions creating sliders and many more things so this is a bootstrap and partial responsive themes partial means some of the part will not be responsive but yes it's a bootstrap theme some of the part is responsive and you can view this screen in any screen resolutions so let's start with the functionality go through that what we have implemented what are the features available inside this project right so this is the home page of the project once you will once you run this project you will get the home page and all of the data coming on the home page are static there is nothing dynamic on it this is about page and it's also a static right this is a student login right from here a student can log in so this is a major project which has three login system student login employee login and admin login right so from here a student can log in so user id is a student and password is test once a student can log in and student login you will get these options right so internal pages and internal menus will be changed according to the login role so for a student it will be different for employee it will be different for admin it will be different right so we have restricted the internal pages according to the role system <coughs> so here a student can see all of the available books once he click on all available books he will be able to see all of the books which is available inside the system you can see these are the books available right so once i go on the dashboard my issued books on my issued books he will be able to see all of the books issued to him or her right you can see these are the books uh, issued to her right and these are the status right so it's a pending extended or returned right extended means the employee or the librarian has extended the date to reuse reissue right uh, means to submit the book right this is a my issue books this is a my account section from here you will be able to see all of the account details and you can update the details right this is a change password from where you will be able to update your account password right so in my issue books you can copy it export it as a csv or excel or pdf or print right so these all buttons are working right so this is the student functionality now if i log in as an admin then admin will have different login system and different role and different pages so the user id is employee and password is test so you can see this is not new uh, menu options issue book and book issue book report right so employee can perform only these operations right the these menu options are available here also in the top header right so once you click on the issue book you can select the student and select book and the date issue descriptions and these are the book return details when uh, the book will be returned how much fine user or student need to pay if he is returning the book after the due date right return date right so these all are the options right this is the issue book the next one is the issue book issue report so you can see an employee the employee is able to see all of the books which has been sent to the student right or assigned to the student and these are the status right employee can edit it and employee can mark the status right so anything uh, will be updated from this form this is a issue book report again this is a my account section from where employee can update his account details and change password right so this is log out now comes on the login part so admin has all of the features so if i login as an admin so user id admin and password is test right so you can see there are a lot of options available here right so employee and student has the less features 
but Edwin has a lot of features because he can perform all of the operations, right? So this is add author, right? From here, admin can add the author. And the second one is add new book. From here, admin can add the new book, right? So these all are the drop downs, and these all drop downs are dynamic and coming from the database. The value of the drop downs are coming from the database. This is add new book category. From here, admin can add the new category of the book. This is an issue book. From admin can also issue the book, right? From here, admin can issue the book add language from here admin can add the language of the book right so english hindi gujarati marathi right urdu he can add any of the language from here of the book add publication admin can add the publication here you can see this are the publication forms this is the add new user <coughs> from here admin can add the user so this is the selected user rule so this drop down is contains three roles admin employee and a student from here admin can choose what role user he wants to create and after that that role will be assigned to that person that user these are the reports so admin can see all of the reports you can see these are the admin reports employee reports these are the student reports there are four students these are the author reports so from here admin will be able to see all of the authors this is a book report all of the books which is available in the library will be displayed here right again the book category report so from here admin can see all of the book category the same for the publication report and the language report right this is a my account section again admin can update his account right and admin can change his password also so you can see these are the my account section right and this is a change password from here and we can change the password right once he logouts the menu option will not be displayed right and internal pages will not be accessible so logout you can see the menu has option has been changed right so these all features and functionality we have developed inside this project library memory system as i told you earlier this is a major project developed in python django and mysql right and it has admin login employee login and the extra login so if you need any extra enhancement extra features inside this project just put it into the comments we will make this project more better and better according to requirements and don't forget to subscribe our channel for getting the latest project videos on the latest technologies thanks for watching the video thank you very much